Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a huge Christmas decor haul for 2020 and I am so excited to show you guys all the new items that I have picked up this year. I'll show you where everything is from. I really gravitated towards neutral decor this year and I have lots of pops of greens. I've got cream colored items, some black, and I just love how it all tied in together. So I'm excited to show you guys where these items are from if you are looking for neutral Christmas decor as well. Today's video is in collaboration with my friend Skye over at House and Home. You guys know I love Skye. She is the sweetest person and she has her own online home decor business. It is so stinking cute too. Everything she puts out I am in love with. She has like the light and bright, very pretty neutral decor. It's kind of farmhousey. It is so cute. So definitely check out Skye and her shop if you guys are interested in some neutral Christmas decor. She just released her Christmas line and it is so cute. But I will have Skye's video down below if you guys want to go check it out. Watch her home decor haul. I know it's going to be so good. I have been binge watching her Christmas videos. I watch all her videos anyways, but the Christmas ones are super good. So you guys won't want to miss it. Let Skye know that I sent you. Make sure you subscribe to her channel and if you're new from Skye's channel. Hello, my name is Kaylin and I'm so glad you're here. Here on my channel, I do lots of homemaking content. We do cook with me, clean with me, decorating the house. I, I love that modern farmhouse style and a little bit of boho. So, so if you like that style too, definitely stick around. I do lots of DIYs and I have so much Christmas content already up on my channel and I have so much more planned. So I'm really excited for this season. All right, I'm just going to start grabbing things in no particular order. It is all around me. So I'm just gonna grab things as I go. Okay, the first thing I picked up is this sign. It says all is bright and all is calm. And I think it is so cute. You can flip it to so whichever side you want. This is so cute on entryway tables, or you could put this on shelves. If you have bookshelves that you decorate for Christmas, this would be super cute. I thought it looked kind of modern, and it's got like that wood cutout detail, which I thought was really cute. And I love the pops of black. So this was from Hobby Lobby this year. And then a few more Hobby Lobby finds are these bottle brush trees. They are this cream color and they have a gold base on them. There's different sizes. This is a large one and a medium one. And I love these, so neutral. These remind me a lot of Liz Marie Galvan. She has lots of cream bottle brush trees and a little village set up super cute. I also picked up some little mini trees. I've got different sizes. This one was $4.99 from Hobby Lobby and this one was in the Target dollar spot for $5. This one is flocked and it has a burlap base and then this one also has a burlap base and it has little pine cones in there. There is that one. These are great to put by like your kitchen sinks and bathrooms. You can put them in little pots if you wanna change up the bottom. Super cute. I also picked up some ornaments from Walmart. I think they were $1.98, yep. This is a cute little Letters to Santa mailbox for $2. I thought this was adorable. And then they also had this one here. It looks like an embroidery hoop and it's got a little bit of greenery and a bell. So there it is. It's got a little ribbon hook. I think it's adorable. This one was also $1.98. I also thought this one here was really pretty. It was from Walmart as well. It's just like a wooden tree. It says, have yourself a merry little Christmas and a little bell at the bottom. This one was $1.98 as well. And then I have one more from Walmart. It's a little metal one and this one also has a little piece of greenery at the top and it is that tin metal material. It just says merry and bright. I also picked up this ornament from Hobby Lobby and I took the price tag off. I don't remember how much it was, but it's got a wood bead top. It also has the manger and star on it and I thought this was beautiful. So I have this in the middle of the tree in the living room and I just love it. And then I also got this from Hobby Lobby as an ornament. 
but it's technically not an ornament. This one has the wood beads on here and it also has a snowflake on the bottom. This isn't an ornament, but I put it on my tree because I feel like it added a bigger statement. So I got a couple of these for the tree. And then I also picked up this huge bell from Hobby Lobby as well. And I just thought it was so pretty. It actually works. It's got a bell inside of there. And um, I put this as an ornament on my big tree in the living room too. I'm planning on doing a village display on my hutch in the dining room. So I picked up a few of these white houses. These were from the Target dollar spot. They were $5 each. And then to add some different heights, I picked up these wooden ones and I'm going to put like bank and market and um, I don't know, different names of shops maybe like a chocolate shop. I don't know, something that would be cute in a Christmas village. Um, yeah, I think these will be really cute, especially with like all of the bottle brush trees and different things like that. So I'll be making the stickers for those with my Cricut. I have used it a ton with Christmas DIYs this year. I also picked up this candle ring from Hobby Lobby. It was $7.99 and half off. You could use it as a candle ring. You could also hang it up as a wreath in your window. You could put it on um, kitchen cabinets, pantry doors, really anywhere. You could do so much with this. So I'm probably going to, you could even put one of these little houses on there. So I might do something like that. I bought some more of these twinkle lights these were from Sam's they were $11 and I got the warm white version it comes with four different strands of lights and they are really long they're 19 and a half feet each and I love these they have a timer on them where it turns off after six hours they do all kinds of different functions of the lights flickering so super neat I love these and I've already used a bunch of them so I wanted to pick up another box for our bedroom and stuff and um, I'm really excited about those and such a good deal for the twinkle lights. I also got this adorable little banner from Sky Shop at House and Home and I love it. I actually showed decorating this in my Christmas Decorate With Me part one video. If you guys haven't seen that, definitely check it out. But I just love it. There's little star details. I love the fonts on here and this is just so beautiful. So I will link this down below. There's so much cute stuff on her shop right now though. It's so hard to choose one thing. It is all adorable. House and Home came out with two different types of gift boxes that are releasing today. So if you want to grab one, hurry and head over to the site and pick out which one. This is the Cozy Night Inn and I am so excited about it. So here is what it looks like. There are three items in this box all perfect for having a cozy night in. This is such a great gift idea. Or if you guys just want to get one for yourselves, I'm going to unbox this and show you guys these products. The first one is this beautiful hand towel. This is so soft. Look how big that is too. This would be adorable on some hooks in a bathroom. It kind of almost looks like a bath towel. Honestly, it is huge. Let me see the dimensions. Okay, it's 33 inches by 24. So it is a very large hand towel and it is so soft. That bamboo and cotton. And I love the neutral stripes on here. This is so cozy. I cannot wait to put this in our bathroom. You cannot have a cozy night in without a good can handle. This one is Cranberry Woods and it's a nine ounce soy wax candle. Oh, it smells so good. I have been really into cranberry this year. And the last thing is this lavender and chamomile vegan bath bomb. And yes, it is safe for eczema, which I really appreciate because I do have horrible eczema on my hands and the back of my legs. So I have to be really careful about what fragrances I use and my products. So I'm very excited that I can actually use this one and I'm excited to see what it smells like too. So this is going to be so nice. So all three of these items come in the Cozy Night In box. I love this. I think that is such a great idea. The other box is Made With Love and it is a kitchen box. There's a family recipe gingerbread tea towel. It is so cute. There's also a beech wood dish brush and it has a leather strap. You guys know I love leather. There's also a soap in there and it smells like vanilla spice and cinnamon. 
so so yummy if you guys want to check out either of these boxes i will link them down below they are both so so cute and would be the perfect gifts this christmas season i also picked up some of these flocked branches this is a bundle from joann's it was in the bloom section and it was $6.99 and I think it was 40% off the day that I went and then I got a couple different styles so I also got this one this one is kind of a sugary look and it has pine cones in it it is very pretty this one was I believe $10 yeah $9.99 and 40% off and then I also picked up these larger ones. So this one kind of flops and I think it's so pretty. This one was $5.99 and 40% off and it's kind of semi flocked, kind of sugary looking. It's hard to explain, but I love those. So I picked up a bunch of those sticks. And then if you're wanting some that are really realistic looking, I found these at Hobby Lobby. They were $4.99 and half off in the Christmas florals. They look like this. They have little berries at the tip. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I think that makes it look really real. So you could do an arrangement of those. And then I also picked up this pick from Hobby Lobby. It was $5.99 and half off. And then it has a pine cone at the bottom. These are great for DIYs and crafts. You could put this on a wreath. You could put two of these together and put it on a mantle. There's just a lot of ways you can use these picks. I also picked up this little mini wreath from the Target Dollar Spot. It was $3. It has a little ribbon hook on the top. So I've got some big plans for those. Then in the hearth and hand section, I picked up this Tis the Season sign. This was $9.99. It's that metal material with a green border and a green font. Another hearth and hand item were these hot pads. They came in a pack of two. One is more of a rectangle, the other one's a circle. I love the leather detail on the handles, so I'm going to hang these in the kitchen. And then I also got some hand towels. So these are all from Target. These two came in a pack together, and they were in the Target dollar spot for $5 for two of them. Love those. And then this one is a hearth and hand one. It's just homemade hot cocoa and it has the recipe on there. I think that's so cute. That's what it looks like. Very cute. And then I also got this green plaid one. I thought that these two looked really cute together. So this one was the Threshold brand and it was $3. I think this one was $3.99. So some new hand towels. I went to a local floral store, Stevens. I'm actually gonna show a shop with me there on my channel really soon. It's a locally owned floral shop. It's got all your DIY needs. It's honestly the cutest place. So they always go all out for their Christmas trees and they sell lots of decor. So I went in and filmed that and I'm excited to show you guys, but I picked up this little tray from there and I thought this looked kind of vintage. It kind of has like a gold finish around the top and then I like that this is kind of engraved in the wood and I thought this was so cute. I didn't have a lot of red, so I love this one. So here it is. I've got big plans for this as well. I'm doing a hot chocolate station in the kitchen. So I picked up these cute little milk jugs that are filled with hot cocoa mix. This one is a peppermint and this one is a milk chocolate. And I thought these would be really cute sitting on a tear tray. And then to go along with that, I also picked up these chocolate peppermint uh, cream filled rolled wafers. I've never had these, but I feel like they would go really well with coffee. So I picked up those. And then I also have a little mug that says, I love cocoa, that's from Hobby Lobby. And then I have these little tiny candy cane spoons. These were from the Dollar Tree. They came with a bunch of them in a pack for a dollar. And I thought these were so cute. So got those in that mug there. I also picked up this little nativity set from the Dollar General of all places. It was $3 and it comes apart. It's just got like this slat at the bottom. I think that's the word for that. <laughs> and then you can put all of these 
figurines in there and I think it's just so simple and very pretty. I picked up this star. It actually lights up. I need to get some lights for it but it has a wooden base and I think it's so cute. That was from Hobby Lobby as well. I also got these really boho looking trees. They're that macrame material and I thought they were gorgeous. So these were from Hobby Lobby. They have a medium size and then a large size. So I have these sitting by my fireplace in the living room. I also got these cute little stacked books. I think these are adorable. They have a little buffalo check ribbon on them. These are from Ashley's Homestead on Etsy. I will link her shop down below. So if you use the code CASH15, you will get 15% off your order. I also have this Santa bag that is personalized. It has Brooks's name on it. And this will be so cute for Christmas. It's got all kinds of cute stuff on there. I love this and it is gigantic. So be able to fit lots of presents in here. This is from KGB Creations on Facebook. I will have her page linked down below if you guys would like to order one from her. And if you use the code Kaylin5, you can get $5 off this cute bag. She also has lots of other really cute personalized stuff as well. So definitely check out her shop. I also got a new tree skirt. This is kind of like a woven yarn material. This is from Hobby Lobby. I love this. I think it was $34.99 and half off, so it was a pretty good deal. And they also had matching stockings. So how cute is that? I love these so much. The stockings were really affordable too. I think they were $14.99 and half off. So such a steal and all the cozy vibes. I wanted to pick up a new tree collar for the one in our bedroom and I found this beautiful woven one from Home Depot of all places and it was $25. So I love this very rustic and natural looking so I can't wait to get this one on that tree. I picked up a package of these tags. They're just like wooden gift tags and I personalized them to make for our stockings. I also picked up this package of bells. They're kind of like a champagne gold color. They were $6.99 and half off in the Christmas craft section and I have lots of plans for these in DIYs. I picked up this table runner from Target. It's the Threshold brand and I thought it was so pretty. It was $15 and I'm going to use this on our kitchen table. Speaking of kitchen tables, I got this garland to go in the center of our table. It is huge. So. This was from Hobby Lobby. It is, let's see, six feet long. It was $49.99 and half off. So $25 for this huge piece of garland. It has multiple different styles of branches, huge pine cones. It is so pretty and very natural looking. Last but not least are pillows and blankets. So I picked up a few different pillows. I got this one here from Kirkland's. I got it when it was on sale for $15 that day and I was so excited about it. I went in to fill my Kirkland shop with me and it was full price. I think full price it was $24.99. So I was really happy to get $10 off of it. I also got this really pretty cozy green blanket from Target. Target. It was the Threshold brand, I believe, and I just love it. It's really soft too. It's definitely a blanket that you could actually use. I love that knitted blanket look. They are the coziest blankets, so whenever I seen this one for $30 at Target, I had to snatch it up. That is such a good deal for this type of blanket. It's so cozy. Another one you can actually use. I think they had that one in red as well. This pillow here I have in our living room. This was from Hobby Lobby. I think it was $24.99 and half off. So I grabbed two of these, but it is trimmed in green and has that black and white plaid pattern. I found this blanket at Hobby Lobby too. It's got some fringe at the bottom and it was only $10. So I thought this would be a good little accent blanket. But again, it's very cozy as well. So definitely one you could use. And this is pretty neutral too. So you could have this one all year round if you wanted. Last but not least is this beautiful hunter green pillow. I love this knitted sweater pattern. I'm obsessed with it. So this is the last find. I will try to have everything that I can linked down below. If you can't find it or you want a specific link to something, just let me know down in the comments. All right, guys, that is it for today's huge Christmas decor haul. I hope you enjoyed seeing some new things that I have picked up this year. Don't forget to check out Sky's video 
as well. I'll have it linked for you guys to click on and watch next. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video if you're excited for all of the Christmas content. I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.